big question is how hot does it have to be for them to really be concerned, right? Meteorologist Dominus yeah. Brown in for Scott tonight with a look at your forecast and what that might translate to. Yeah, later in the week, early part of the weekend, we could see temperatures about 104. That means feels like temperatures will be even hotter, closer to maybe 105 to 109 in spots. So we need to keep that in mind too. And as we look ahead in the forecast, the next three days, we have temperatures about 100 degrees for tomorrow, about 100 as we go into Wednesday and 101 for Thursday. That advertised about 93 this time of the year. Now, when we start talking about all this heat, we also have to keep in mind we do have, yes, an ozone action day, much like today in store for tomorrow for sensitive groups there. So if you have any asthma problems or for respiratory problems, you need to take it easy, especially during the hottest part of the day as we move through your Tuesday. Check out the morning temperatures at 7 o'clock, about 80 degrees, 92 at 11, but you'll see the feels like temperatures closer to 101 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon and 102 by 5 o'clock in the afternoon. It will be hot. It will be humid as we go through each afternoon here. Again, going through Thursday will feel like 104. The heat advisory criteria about 105. So we're going to be creeping up as we go through the week. And I think later in the week, we could be looking at some heat advisories or even excessive heat warnings for parts of North Texas. Now, here's the deal. If you have any plans to maybe go out and about and maybe run or take a jog, keep in mind here that the best times to go will be early, early in the day or later in the evening because we are talking about a lot of heat and humidity during the hottest part of the day. But some relief in sight a little bit. All right, go with me here. A cold front will move in from the north. Give us a little bit of a break from the heat later in the week with a few showers and thunderstorms. So instead of the low 100s, how about the upper 90s? <laughs> That's about as good as I can do it. In fact, you'll notice about 104 for Saturday, 98 degrees in Sunday. This is what we're tracking, a cold front that will likely bring the opportunity for some showers in our area by Sunday and possibly into Monday for parts of the area. So that means a little bit of relief from some of the heat and maybe some of the pollen as well. Well, your first alert seven day forecast shows temperatures going up 100 degrees for Wednesday, even for tomorrow, the first day of summer, 101 for Thursday, 104 going into Friday. You'll see as we go into the end of the week, a 20% chance of a shower, I should say the second half of the weekend, 30% chance of showers and storms by next Monday.